welcome to Morgan's with Niravas. Uh, today it's time to once again get back to Terraforming Mars, this wonderful, wonderful game designed by Jacob Fruxelis and published by Frix Games and Stronghold Games. And today we're going to talk about green cards. Um, basically, the the um, yeah the cards that just give you one effect right away when you uh, build them or buy them, and then uh, that's it. And you will get some tags and so on as well. This was the hardest category for me to choose from. I mean, simply because in that huge deck, most, I mean, the big, the most percentage of them are green cards, so it was much easier to pick five event cards, for example. Uh, I was thinking about maybe I should do a top 10 for the green cards, but then again, that would not fit with the theme for the series of top five Terraforming Mars things. So I stayed with it, I did the top five for green cards, but I had to, you know, I had to remove it. This took some time for me to figure out <laughs> which five to put there. Oh. And once again, it's not some sort of, um, you know, mathematical uh, science thing, which cards are the best. It's just cards that I like. I, I just like these cards. So let's just run, jump straight into it. And we have number five. So number five is, uh, you know, quite a small card here. We have sponsors. Sponsors only cost six credits to get. It has the earth tag, which could be nice in some situations. And sponsors, um, just the only thing you do is it increases your uh, credit production by two. Doesn't sound that much, but the thing that really made sponsors get into the top five is that it's so quick to make uh, make the money and make profit from it. Um, I mean, a lot of there's a lot of cards that raises uh, your uh, credit uh, production. But it only costs six plus three if you bought it. So that's nine. That's at the maximum it's five generations to to uh, make profit of it. So uh, it's really easy to want to get. I mean, you can get it. I mean, this one is good in the in the beginning of the game. It's good in the middle of the game. So yeah, that's uh, sponsors. My number five. So for my number four. Uh, this is a totally different type of card from sponsors. This is a mobile area. It costs 20, but you can pay to steal. And this one is a bit special because, first of all, you get four uh, heat production, which is basically, I mean, yeah, most of the time it's good to get that. But maybe in the late, in the end game, you don't really want that because maybe the, it's already up there with the heat and all that. But I like that. Four is nice. And also you get to put out this tile here placed on an area reserved for ocean. Now if you get this card early, uh, let's, let's do this, if you get this card early, you can put this uh, tile out maybe here, get two titanium, I mean steal it steal it away from from the ocean uh, placement. So there's a bunch of places to, there's a bunch of good places in the ocean, I mean you can get two steel up here and so on. So um, yeah, that is my number four, Mohol area. So my number three, this one is even more sort of uh, situational based actually, but I, I just like it because it's Soletta. Uh, it's really expensive at 35, you can pay with titanium, but I mean it's expensive, but you get seven heat production. And you know, if you watch my videos of Terraform Mars, you know that I like heat in this game. I like to get my heat up and get the temperature up. That's, that's I, I prefer that sort of in the game. Um, yeah, so seven, I mean, that's so great. Increase your heat production seven steps. Of course, this is totally worthless in the end game. <laughs> uh, and in the early game, it's too expensive to get. So this is really sort of mid game. If you're going for a heat strategy, if everything else is going as you want it. I just like it. Stolera, that's my number three. So my number two is much more sort of a uh, card that I always get and uh, it's, it's good most of the time. It's a giant space mirror for 17 credits. Has an energy tag, doesn't really mean anything most of the time. Sometimes you can have some usage for that, but uh, it has a space tag and it gives you three energy production. This is really good, especially sort of in the beginning, get you started on the energy. You can, this is a good combo together with a lot of other cards that need, that require you to lower your energy production when you play them, uh, cities and so on. So uh, Giant Space Mirror is a really solid uh, base card sort of to have in your um, in your production. Yeah, Giant Space Mirror, my number uh, 
And so for my number one, and yeah, this is a card that I almost never get in a multiplayer game. It's rare that I even see this one, but when I do, I always take it because I like it so much. And it's a robotic workforce. A uh, robotic workforce um, costs nine credits. It has a science tag, and it lets you copy the uh, production uh, box of one of your building cards. So uh, basically, what it means you saw like Mohol area. Uh, if you play, if you play the robotic workforce, then you can because this is a building, right? Then you can copy this. You can get for just nine bucks there. You can get another for heat production. But this is so versatile. You can do this. I mean, there's so many ways. Maybe you can get your titanium production up. Maybe you can, you're in a spot where you really need that one more plant production so you can get to having a greenery every generation and so on. Robotic workforce is so nice. It's so, you can really use it in so many ways. And yeah, that's my favorite green card in the whole deck of all those cards. So that is uh, another one of these top five for Terraforming Mars. I hope you liked it. And we're going to be back with more. We're going to talk about uh, corporations. We're going to talk about uh, some other stuff as well. So I hope you are subscribed to the channel and you keep watching. If you aren't, then just click the red button down there. You can subscribe to the channel so you can get uh, uh, notes from um, notification from YouTube when I post new videos. So don't miss that. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.